Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad. In today's video, we're back playing Inscription yet again, seeing where we're going in the real world, because in the gaming world, there's been a lot going on. Also, it's kind of weird. We're getting these a little bit more frequently than before. Well, hello there, card gamers. Um, looks like my garage sale hunting days have finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, baby. What you guys see this? You know what that is? You know what that is? I even have more cards. Packs of inscription. Four of them. I don't know if the woman knew what these are worth. I mean, I felt a little bad buying them off of her. But I mean, she's probably doing okay living in this part of town. I mean, it's like... It's nice kind of fully town, invested you know? himself and, uh, in the inscription she would have game. Away if I hadn't come by. Right? Right. Okay. Big pack opening video incoming! woo hoo hoo, -hoo! All right, so he found more and got excited about it, but he's still in hot water with them for uh, having the digital copy because he just hid it from them. They, they didn't actually do anything with it. Also, his setup is kind of weird to be a YouTuber. It's just a little sketchy looking Hi. hello is this mrs hobbs hi my name is luke well it's very nice to speak with you as well mrs hobbs um listen i was at your garage sale the other day and i no no everything's fine thank you um i was just wondering if you remember those playing cards that you sold me those Yes! Yes! Those ones. Inscription. Yes. They were your daughters? Would it be possible for me to speak with her? She passed, isn't she? Oh. Oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it was a while ago. That's still... Terrible. Oh, it's nothing really. I'm Did she say that the sorry. death of her daughter was a while ago, so it's okay? I don't know. So that's kind of an iffy response to I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Casey was one of the death cards. What? She worked for Inscription? I mean, she worked for Game Funa? That, spell, that exact spelling was one of the death cards back in the video, I think. During one of the final bosses, yeah, maybe. Um, do you think it'd be alright if I called you back later? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Alright, have a good dinner. Bye. Uh, that was that one? Okay. Articles mentioned death or injury. Oh my god. No one was killed at the facility, though tragically young video game developer Casey Hobbs died from fire-related complications. Fuck. I think Hobbs might have been one of the death cards, too. The facility performing quality assurance on behalf of her employer, Game Fuma. Ooh, something's in there. Or he reacted to something. Take 3 k page. Okay, so that was like the end of the last clip again. Oh, this one changed to an area. It wasn't like that before. Someone is here. That was a good little jump scare got me. I don't know how you live alone and only have a cell phone and don't keep that bitch in the same room as you all the time. I feel like that's just a safety thing. Oh, didn't expect that. Shit's getting real. <laughs> all 
right, so guy's losing his mind now. All right, let's see what's going on back in the game. Okay, so I can improve a few cards. Uh, what is this? I can't remember what this symbol is. Oh, that lets me empower the cards, doesn't it? Don't want to do that because that's just going to have me kill them. See if I can add a few more cards to my deck. 79 is not bad. It does move around a lot. It still only does one damage, though. So if it's only going to do one damage and have one health, I'd rather it have some, uh, you know, shielding on it or something. Oof. I'll grab a pelt, hold on to it. I feel like the trader is going to give me something good for it. Oh, well, I'd rather figure it out now. Can't afford whatever that is still, too. I want to figure that out also, but I'll do that later. Now, this improves the car, but I can't remember this. I don't think this is the one that kills it because that had like the electrodes and shit around it. Gonna make something better than what it is. What's a card that I commonly get? I get a lot of these ones. Especially these bomb ones. So if it can deal damage or at least... Uh, that's the thing. It doesn't deal damage. I want to power something up that's going to also deal damage and survive. Ooh, yeah, that would be good. That way it cycles back into my hand and I can always put it down. Uh, this will let it give me power back. I think the cycling into my hand is going to be better. Plus, this puts it in contention to be powered up later since it now has that sigil. And now next time I... How much does this cost? I assume, yeah, out of my price range at the moment. Might as well drain our pockets and get as much as we can to improve the deck. What is this? A Mobot? I'll take it. Two power to summon. All right, let's get out of here. It looks like there's potentially something there. I keep trying to move around with the mouse and keyboard and not just my hand. Oh. Okay. The dude's not a fan of uh, organic stuff. But I also remember that uh, bridge builder who doesn't open up until after we beat her. Oh, is this still is this still set up the same way? And I'm just not picking up on what it is. I think it is still set up because if this is where life is, below us we were fighting a lot of bone creatures, I think, or at least some of them were bone creatures, and we had to build a bridge to go to the left. So it does sound like it's set up in the same way as it was uh, in the last game mode. I guess, yeah. I do want to try and find a checkpoint pretty soon. Ooh, I like that. Oh, it takes five to put it out. Bolt, Bolt Hound wouldn't be bad. I'll take this one though. So have all of our abilities too, or all of our uh, gadgets. I'm gonna take that out quick. Oh, we just got both of those cards. Great. What the fuck? Hang on a second. Is it gonna keep transforming? Interesting. Okay, so it's just going to switch back and forth between those two modes. Okay, so they transform into random stuff. Oh, did I get this back from when it died? Okay. Hmm. 
I'm gonna lose this card next turn. So I'm gonna take out which, whatever's gonna be the hardest to kill. That'll give it a chance to transform on its. Oh, never mind. Uh, bomb sigil on you, and that'll take out that. And shield sigil on you, and that'll keep you alive. Eight. Let's see what this thing switches into. Start experimenting with some cards some more. Oh, turns into a bear. Makes sense. Definitely makes sense. Uh, it's going to take one hit of damage on its next turn, though. But that should be fine. You get? When a card brand this sigil perishes, a random card is created in your hand. Oh, I forgot that, that that's what this does now. I forgot it wasn't just it gets a random sigil. I like these bots changing back and forth. That's pretty cool. You think that's a, uh, a good aspect of the game? Gotta get our money back because we did just drain our pockets. I'm hoping to get a save point pretty soon. That way I don't lose all of this fucking money. Uh, what is this? Ooh. Okay, cool. So I can make a card into a beast card and choose its form. Uh, do I have some cards that I don't fuck with for real? Ooh, insect drone, right? Okay, put that in there. Here we go. Which beast will, will live within your bot? Take the reptile. I thought it gave us a new base form. That was, uh, that was a misunderstanding on my part. Kind of lame now. Okay. So that was the prospector now. Shit. Okay, that sends us back to a save point. I don't know why I was concerned about a save point then. Uh, don't know what that is yet. So I'm going to check out this fight up here. It's probably going to be a bounty hunter fight. So let's see. And maybe it's going to be a little bit different since we're in a different area. Maybe it's gonna be more country shit type. Got a Grizzbot coming in. I think it hurt itself when it tries to deal damage. Might not have. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, that dude's a little interesting. Kind of does it completely business focused. Not the worst way to view it. Uh, get way to compartmentalize the shit you got going on. We got that next. Oh, okay, we won. Cool.
okay so it looks like the scribes have different ideas about what makes a good card game then and then together they make a balanced card game is what it sounds like or at least based on what he just said is what it's looking like because he wants perfect tactic and this is probably making fun of uh leshy because from the interaction after we beat leshy he does not fuck with leshy which makes sense because he did just kind of capture all of the rest of the scribes but what he said about leshy he uh he cares too much about the lore of the game so it'd be like if you made it'd be like Yu Gi Oh, right except for they didn't flesh out any of the card game they just made a really good anime and they put out a shit card game it would be like an over exaggerated comparison Okay, so this looks like it turns into, oh yeah, Sona. Plus it has the bat wings on its feet. So I'll take this one, I think. Yeah, it has a lower health, or a lower coming chart. A lower energy cost, there you go. All right, perfect. All right, let's keep going now. All right, so we found the house. So that means Leshy should be here somewhere. All right, so let's see if we can take out something else in here too. Ooh, there it is, the next bot. Kind of figured it was going to be in here soon. Yeah, this is really just shitting on uh, Leshy here. The bottom one might have been uh, Glamora, Gamora, whatever her name is. I think it said Glamora in one of the videos. But uh, the bottom one might have been Gamora, the one we did the first time. I just wasn't paying attention to it. That or just was, yeah, I think it might, yeah, it definitely was. Because it's like stinking, uh, whatever. Yeah, it was definitely her stuff. I just didn't pay attention to the connection there. Shit, it's going into my files again. I don't know what it means by aim and capture. All right, let's figure out what the mechanic is here. What the fuck is that? This is my friend. Okay. Aim I'll aim them where? What do you mean? What does this button do? Okay. Sure, let's take this picture. My friend will remember that photograph. My friend will allow you to use that photograph. To what end, you will see. To use it when, you will see. Okay. I don't know why he repeated himself there, but uh... Maybe that's what's going to reset the board to. Should I run into trouble or something like that, maybe? <sighs> I don't know. We'll have to see in a second, I guess. These are all drones that insta-kill. Now, that's not the worst. Oh, they also deal one damage, so I'm not safe from them either. But I can just put down my... What you call it? Yep. Okay, great. <laughs> I was like, I don't want him to have all those on the board anymore. I'll take a picture of this for sure. So every time on my turn, I can take a picture and have that be stored as the board to be replaced on one of my turns if I want to. Um, is this a bad picture? Honestly, no. Actually, yeah, because the, the bat deals more damage. It looks like it takes two energy. Oh, never mind. Ooh, double gunner. Okay, that's coming out in a second, too.
I'll put this down now. That way, when or after the next turn, when that thing attacks, I'll be able to get it to kill itself when it attacks again. Unless I just kill him this time. Repeats himself a lot. Uh, so I need a new picture, huh? This one right here where he has nothing on the board isn't bad. Cause his, his, everything he has is blocked right now. I'll save that Skeletal Latcher to for when these things come in. That way they kill themselves when they hit. Is that a bomb latcher? Okay, I'm kind of set up for my next few turns. This I do like I, I want this hand because it's a setup for what I think is something good. Now when that thing attacks me, it's going to kill itself. Okay. Put a bomb on this one. Take that picture. This would be better for the next one. That we have a spot for two damage to go through. And then I'm going to also shield it. That way it doesn't die immediately. And use our... Um, or handy dandy sentry gun to kill this thing when it moves in. I think it should still work that way. It shouldn't transform immediately. Uh, but if it does, we'll put a bomb on it too, because fuck it, why not? Unless we just win this turn, because we do do a decent amount of damage now. Uh, you look a little upset there, PO3. That was actually pretty easy. I feel like Leshy shit is now just. Well, at least so far, Leshy shit has been pretty easy. Since beating him the first time, like once we got the flow of uh, part one, I guess part two, we beat him pretty quick. This one was pretty much nothing, but I think it's just the mechanic for this one. We get to add something else or is it going to change what the sigil is altogether? Ooh, it not costing anything to put down would be pretty good. All right, I think we're done in this area, but I'm still going to walk out and see if I uh, see anything. OK, so now we should be headed out of this area. I think we've seen everything here. Oh, no, no, we have not. All right, I want to check this out now, but now we probably got some stuff we can cut from the episode. Let's see what this is. Okay. So I have what three turns to kill these? I need something that deals one damage to be can I what if I just uh Oh, 
that's not what I expected at all. I thought I had to get those uh whatever is out the way real quick. So I just immediately dropped that on them. Uh let's see. It doesn't deal any damage, so there's no point in defending it yet. Energy bot, I'd be able to put something else down that has one, so that's not helpful right now. Okay, I think we'll be fine. I think we can beat him. This is going to be a slow start because all of our higher damage stuff comes in later. Also, we got everything that. Oh, fuck. I have to fill that thing. I'm down, bitch. <laughs> okay, that'll help out with its transformation. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, it only does one damage on its transform. It's about to do four on its next on the next turn. This is uh, it's looking pretty shitty right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, let's see what we got going on in here. Let's get something. Uh, oh, solid. Nothing great. Okay, let's get the bat out there. I think the bat's transformation actually does do two damage. So it'll be a little bit more helpful. Uh, yeah. I think we got it on this turn, though. Come on. Fuck. I'm going to miss it by one. Yes, sir. I mean it does have arms doesn't it like one well, he it po3 has arms doesn't he it i don't know fuck it i think they referred to the stout as a he isn't this my file what is this? i'm this old picture of when l and i first got into aqua romans gilly gladiator sick l got a julius c star when they first started looking at files so it's a very personal file to dude I'm gonna choose another card to power up. I need some more low level cards to be stronger. Because the early game is always the hardest part. If one of these things, I should start charging up my uh, latchers. This ability? It doesn't deal damage. Ooh, can it double latch? Like choose two different things to latch onto. That would be useful. If I can put a shield on an enemy, or put a shield on a teammate and put a bomb on an enemy, that might be pretty useful. We'll try that out. All right, so that wasn't too bad, but that is going to be all for this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. All this stuff helps me grow the channel. Don't know if I said at the beginning. I used to. I've been forgetting. I think. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.